Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to Stamp Away Saturday. And today I have another one of the Hampton Arts stamp sets from Dollar Tree to give away. And um, so at the end of this video we'll do the drawing for this stamp set. And we're going to go ahead and... Um, next week's is going to be this one here so let's go ahead and Toto the dog just came in <laughs> he just came in I'm talking so he had to come and see who I was talking to he's like looking he doesn't um, see very well so he's probably actually looking to see who in the heck I'm talking to <laughs> bless his little pointed head okay so this is stamp my um, craft room is the coolest room in the house, apparently, and it's got the least amount of noise, except for when I'm talking. Um, so he really likes it in here. Okay, and this is July um, 21st. Okay. So we will put that one up there and so what I do is I go ahead and I use this, the next stamp set that we're going to give away as my, um, oh, I just gave me a, <laughs> as the stamp set that I'll be using today and today's video is going to be about what to do when um, your stamp image, or just some, not what to do, but some ideas of things you can do if your stamp image, stamped image, does not turn out. So, um, and so that it doesn't just totally become a waste. So, on my desk right here, I have some um, index cards. I'm going to go ahead, I've got the large, this stamp. I've already taken it off. I've put it on my acrylic back. This is not your normal acrylic back. This is actually a baseball card holder. Okay, so if you had some really awesome baseball card or Pokemon card, you would put it in here to keep it safe. And um, I found it at a yard sale and I use it as a stamp acrylic stamp back. I think I paid 25 cents for it or something like that. So way better than um, uh, the, the price of an acrylic block. Even, you know, if I could find one this big at the Dollar Tree, it's still even better than that. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp this image. So I'm, I'm, um, going around and getting ink all over this image and pressing down in the center to make sure that it would um, turn out really good. Coming over and I'm pressing it down. So these stamps sets seem to be for coloring in, but this is something that happens. Now to be able to one of the things that I could do so that this wouldn't happen is put some paper underneath and it would, um, you know, a, you know, maybe 10 sheets and, and it would uh, add a cushion. Um, a cushion is something that you have naturally on a rubber stamp. Okay, so this is one of the things that happens. You, you're using an acrylic stamp, there is no cushion here. But in a, in a regular rubber stamp, you see that? There's like a sponge in between the rubber and the wood. You get some play, and, um, and that's how you get such an amazing impression with a wooden stamp. So, um, so to kind of fake it out, one of the things you can do is put some papers under it. Well, this time, because my tutorial is about using... Um, stamped images even though you know so so that one didn't turn out so you'd probably go ahead and say oh well I'm gonna try it again so 
Maybe I didn't get enough ink on it in the middle. So I'm gonna take it over to the edge and make sure that there's plenty of ink on it in that area that didn't come out. And then I'm gonna try it again, okay? And hopefully, yeah, I saw it move, but. Oh, so we have a totally different area that didn't work out. So, what can I do? I, um, you know, could just throw these away, but uh, you know me, I don't like to throw anything away. So one of the things that I will do is I'm always needing um, little embellishments and things. So, and I have several punches. So one of the things I might do is take out my label punch. This is an EK Success label punch or tag. It can be a tag punch too. I'm going to go ahead and cut this a little bit closer so that I get the full play. I'm going to look at this and see if I can Okay. So I think if I punch it right here, I end up, I just have this little area here. So that could be covered with some washi tape. It could be covered with some words. It could be covered with some word washi tape. Cause you know, we probably have some that says like, Beachy Keen. Oh, this is all ocean. Seize the day, tropic like it's hot. I needed that for something I was doing. Totally forgot. Okay. Looking for, that's too big. This one says, fill your heart with love and flowers. That one's a, <laughs> okay, here's one. I'm not going to probably, let's see if there's any words in my, okay, so we have the word fab, okay, so you can just cover it with some washi, and then maybe another piece of washi. So you have this cute little embellishment. You can color it in if you want. Um, we have another one with the, with the dragonflies. You can do the same thing. And then, you know, um, There's a couple things we could do here. We could do this. You could add, you know, a little, make a little embellishment and just add it right on top of where the, the stamping didn't um, quite work. There we go. Maybe put some of the gold underneath it. Um, let's see. So, we've got this. So with the gold beading stuff, and just go around and round and round and round. And okay. And then Go ahead. This is a Zot. These are, they come in a box with the roll is inside the box. And you can just go ahead and it is a great um, type of adhesive. So you can go ahead and move those around. And now you have this really cute little embellishment that would be very easily go on to, you know, onto a bigger tag. 
or even onto a card, maybe with some washi tape and, and stuff like that. So, um, and then of course you can, can add a word. There you go. So, um, you know, we had two of these that didn't turn out. So another thing that you can do is, is this one, most of the outside of it is all good. You could go in with your X-Acto knife and cut around the outside and have, um, you know, then you'd have this open and maybe be able to do a shaker card or um, frame a picture or something like that. So one other thing is you can go ahead and um, come up and just capture that dragonfly and the area around it there and have that. I did it on um, the other one that I was working with. Here's another one of the, the little cards. Another thing that you can do is you can just pretend like it is um, scrapbook paper and you could come in with your Martha Stewart punch and cut out some butterflies so it doesn't have to what I'm just I'm just saying it doesn't have to be trash okay you can still use um, your stamping mistakes and um, now one of the things with this one, sometimes I just need the larger one and I'll just go ahead and go along the edge with my punch. I love this stamp, or this punch, I mean. I just, I, I really, really like this punch. I think that these butterflies are a great fun size. And then of course you can come back in and you can add like you could color in the butterfly and we could use I bought some new pens because I don't know if you've seen but my pens have been not it's like hit or miss whether they're gonna work or not Can't get in there. so I bought calligraphy pens and you'll see them they're in the Michaels Hall I haven't even, that's I, my first time opening them. So you can come in and, of course you could color it ahead of time, which would be much easier. And you all know how much I love to color, especially on camera. But just thinking, if you go ahead and color it in, then you could actually uh, boy, I'm saying actually a lot. You could actually, actually, actually. Of course, you could use colored pencils. Maybe a little green. doesn't want it. Okay, so you could color it and then add it to your your black and white. So anyway, that is some ways to go ahead and use your new stamps and should the impressions not work so well, then you have options on how to um, how to use use them. And then here I can even come in and punch a bow part, a bow part out of that part. Of course, it's sticking. And then come here. 
This is the Fisker's uh, little bow punch. Okay. So I used, I basically punched out that whole thing. I feel pretty good about that. And then you can just come in and make yourself a little bow. There's the bottom. So there, we got the cute little bow that is made out of, and the last time I've, last couple times I've done it, I've put it on this way. It was easier. You can glue it down, and um, you can add some washi around it. And then put something through. Now it's too big. Go ahead and do this, and that will. Make it round up a little bit so it looks more like a bow. There. Then you just glue it on there. And you've got this adorable little bow. Yay! Using up something that probably would have been thrown away. So, let me clean this up here really quick. And we'll jump right into um, our drawing. So... Um, if you commented last week, then you are eligible for this. And if you comment this week, please tell me what your um, what your favorite thing favorite thing about this little stamp set is. Oh, one other thing, um, I was gonna show. So it says. Uh, life is good. Life with you is good. And um, so there's not a whole lot of people for, in my life that that's going to work with so much. So I'm going to actually cut the with you off. And now I have life is good. Okay. And I can go ahead and... I can put it onto the stamp. Put these a little closer together. So um, I don't know if you've ever seen the my tea stamp, and my tea stamp that I use said you're my cup of tea see it said you're my cup of tea I cut the you're my off and I just have it say cup of tea and I use it all the time okay so there life is good and it's already set that we can go ahead and I don't know if it's gonna work on here if it's um, yeah, not it's not bold enough. I was hoping it was bold enough. But, you know, your little scraps. Go ahead and stamp on your scraps. So, yeah. So, tip number two. You don't have to use this as it is. 
with these, if you just need the, the flower, you can cut the stem off the flower even. Um, you could cut up these stamps if you were wanting something more, like if you just wanted the flowers and the, um, you know, but do know that once you've done that, that's, you know, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> so there we go. Then we can add, put that on there, maybe add... side should we just go ahead and I think there's like 500 yards or something like that on this and I got it in the jewelry area So this is just a ticket. It was from a raffle. One of my friends just gave me a little bag full of tickets from a meeting that she was at. That's kind of kind of fun. One of the things that that happens around here. Now, if I had my glue out, I I have this glue. I'm gonna say the hot glue would work. I'll just stick it on there. Boom. And go ahead and put the butterfly that we cut out. And we've got a little tiny embellishment. And so the one other thing that you can do if you have... are falling. Christmas is showing up. I know. You just stay right there, McCall. Oh. One of those days. It's been a crazy day. My husband is working on his car and so I keep getting called out to help, which is fine. But it's been a crazy day. Okay. Make sure you don't move your stamp when you... Oh, we got a pretty good image there, but um, I just wanted to show you. So this area here still did not do a great job. So you could go in and put, um, you know, put your sticker down here. And then we have a little bit of compromise up there. So we could take a butterfly and maybe color it in and add it up there and um, use this as a tag or um, as a pocket in a junk journal um, is a card front Let's see if I have a card so something very very simple like this um, but these stamp sets are really, really versatile and a lot of fun. And that's just what I've been trying to show you is that some other ways to use your stamps so they get used. And today was all about what if it, what if I get a bad impression? So um, now let me grab the stuff and let's do the drawing. Okay, had to help help hubby again real quick so I have in my amazing little junk journal book here that is for my projects and giveaways I have today's list of those that commented and um, I have today's that's next week's this is today's, the one that we're going to give away with the, the tree. It has a variety of words and the cute little bird and the house and a little bird here. So um, then we have our little box of tickets. And I did not go through and the, 
last time we had like 32. So if we get numbers that we don't have, we'll just keep drawing until it's a number that we have. Okay? Okay. So here we go. We'll go ahead and mush these around. Make sure that they're all unstuck. Get back in there. Okay, you ready? Here we go. We're gonna grab this one right here. Number three. We have one, two, three, and the winner is Jana Williams. Jana, congratulations. We'll use my new pretty pen. And circle your name. And um, Jana, you are one of my customers. I have your address. So congratulations, you will be receiving this stamp set and it will come to you in the mail. And um, hopefully my husband is still putting his car back together. And if, as long as it gets put back together, it will be Monday or Tuesday. I'll be, um, I did not get to go to the post office last week because <laughs> his car was broken and he used mine. So, and I went to Ojai and um, meetings and stuff. So, yeah. So, I waited. I was like, okay, I'll go tomorrow, which was Wednesday. And I will. And I didn't get there because I didn't have a car. So, anyway, congratulations, Jana. Let's put your name on here. Jana Williams. And so that's how it works, everybody. Go ahead and comment on this video for your entry into this one. Because life with you is good. Thank you all for being here. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye, all. Bye-bye.